Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you guys a prom tutorial. I created sort of a smoky eye with winged liner and a mauve pink lip. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and if you guys want to see what I came up with, please stay tuned. Try to be a model. It's not working. Okay guys, so just getting into the tutorial, I'm using this Cello Beauty pencil, the one that I got from my Ipsy Glam Bag from last month, and I've really been liking it. And I've been pairing it with my Soft Ochre Paint Pot from MAC, and I'm just using the 57 HD Concealer Brush from Sephora to blend everything together. I'm also extending the primer a little bit outside of the eye area just towards the temple a little bit just because we're going to be putting eyeshadow there so I just want to make sure that everything stays and doesn't move anywhere. Next I'm taking the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and I'm just taking the white shade in the palette with a flat brush from Smashbox. I like to do this all over the lid wherever I put primer just to help with the blending process because if you put eyeshadow onto primer that isn't dry yet you're going to have a mess and you're not going to be able to blend it out so putting on the eyeshadow um, the same skin tone as yours is going to help you with blending definitely. And next I'm taking the contour shade I think it's called Fawn from the Anastasia palette and I'm just using a fluffy brush to apply that into my crease. I've really been liking this lately. Now I'm just taking a couple pieces of regular scotch tape. I did put them on the back of my hand prior to doing this just to get rid of some of the adhesive so it's not so sticky when you're pulling it off. And I'm taking the color Coco Bear from Makeup Leaf with the same brush and just applying it on the other part of my eye and also into the crease. Now I'm going into Makeup Geek's Corrupt Eyeshadow, it's just a super duper black eyeshadow. You can use whatever you have, you'll just probably have to layer it a few more times, but using a super black eyeshadow is going to help with not having to go through so many steps. So basically I'm just taking a crease brush, I was using one from Kat Von D, but um, the Sigma E35 is pretty similar and I'm just placing that down and then also blending it out right after just so we can layer the eyeshadow and make sure that you don't have a big patch of black eyeshadow in one spot. Um, making sure that you're blending in between steps is going to help with the overall look when you're finished. And now I'm just doing the exact same thing on the other side. And also when you're blending and placing the eyeshadow, just make sure that everything looks relatively even. You don't want to have one eye look like one way and the other one completely different. So just make sure and keep that in mind. Now I'm just taking the contour shade again and just placing it over the black and blending it into the crease just to make sure that there's no harsh lines. And now I'm just taking the white eyeshadow from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette again and just reapplying it just because it got, kind of got lost while I was blending. And blending again, like usual. Now I'm just removing the pieces of tape slowly. And I'm just going to take my concealer brush just to make sure to blend um, anything that looks patchy. And blending again. <laughs> now I'm taking Mocha from Makeup Geek. And I'm just running that along my lower lash line. 
This is sort of optional. I highly recommend putting eyeshadow on the bottom, especially since we're doing more of a smoky eye. If you leave the bottom blank, it's gonna make it look like it's uneven, and you're gonna your eyes. The term is called top heavy. Your eyes are gonna really are gonna look really top heavy, and nothing on the bottom is not gonna keep them balanced. Um, so putting a little bit of darker eyeshadow underneath will definitely help with that. Now I'm just placing Corrupt on the outer corners of my lower lash line and blending that as well. Now I'm taking Shimma Shimma eyeshadow also from Makeup Geek and I'm putting that in the inner corner. I was originally just going to put it there but I kind of liked how it looked so I put a little bit on the lid as well and just I'm doing that now. And I'm just taking a blending brush to blend it out. Now I'm just taking my Wet n Wild Mega Liner in black and just following the line that we created from the tape and just making a winged liner. You can make it as long or as short or as thick or as thin as you want. It's definitely just preference. So whatever you feel like doing is up to you. I didn't spend too much time on this since you guys have seen me do it so many times before. I haven't been wearing eyeliner as much, so I was having a little bit of technical difficulties in this shot. <laughs> Just trying to get used to wearing it for liner again. And voila, all done. Next, I'm going to be curling my lashes. This is a matte eyelash curler that I'm using. And this is a Estee Lauder, I think it's their Voluptuous Waterproof Mascara, something like that. I just sort of put it on just to make my lashes a little bit darker. This stuff is super hard to get off though, so if you want like a super waterproof mascara, this one's really good. I'll link it in the info box down below. Now I'm taking the Coco Foxy Lashes, and I am going to show you how I put them on. If you're not used to thick, heavier lashes like this, I definitely wouldn't recommend them for prom. But if you have a little bit of experience or if you can get them ahead of time, not even specifically this brand, but um, thicker lashes in general, it would be good to practice before your prom. Definitely always, I would practice your prom look at least once or twice before you were to do it the exact, or the day of, just so you have an idea of what you're doing and you want to the final look to come out the way that you want. So, um, I love using big fluffy lashes like this when I'm doing a more smoky eye. They just look really glam and kind of over the top, which is nice, especially if you're dressing up. So, pressing the lashes together is definitely going to help them um, feel more comfortable on your lash line. So, just keep that in mind. And now I'm just taking uh, Givenchy as a highlighter or concealer pen. Uh, similar to the one from MAC, I think it's called Light Boost or something like that. This is totally optional, I just felt like I need a little bit more highlighting. And I'm just using that same concealer brush to blend everything out. And I used this to set my um, concealer earlier, so I just used whatever powder was left over. And I am using the same mascara on my lower lash line. Oh, no, I lied. I'm using the Bare Minerals Lash Combination Mascara on the lower lash line. Um, this makes my lashes look super duper thick and long, which is nice. And this is Shimmer Shimmer again, and I'm just using it with a crown brush as my brow bone highlight. I'm, I'm, I wouldn't use too much shimmer on the brow bone, just because you don't want to look like you're a, what are they called? One of those dance balls or whatever that glow in the dark. And now I'm going in with the same contour shade that I was using earlier with a Sigma brush. And I'm just doing the outside of my face, the corners of my face, and just contouring all over like I usually do. And 
And now I'm just taking a highlighter. This one's from MAC. It's It was limited edition, but it's really similar to Soft and Gentle. So you could use that or any other highlighter that you want. I used that kind of more as a bronzer, but not really. It didn't look the way that I wanted to. So I ended up going in with Opal from Becca and using that as a highlighter. As you can see, it shows up a lot more. And I'm just using a brush to blend it out. Now I'm just taking a little bit of buff blush from MAC. I was going to use Coralista from Benefit, but I just felt like it was going to be too pink and I wanted to keep it a little bit darker, so I went with that. And now I am using the star of the show, which is Sephora Collections um, Cream Lip Stain in Marvelous Mauve. And I picked this up after the haul that I posted last week uh, because it wasn't in stock and I finally got it in stock, so I picked it up right when it was there. And I've been loving it. It's like the perfect mauve pink color for a lot of different skin tones. I highly recommend it over lipstick, especially for prom or a special occasion, because it's going to last longer, especially when you're eating and drinking. You're not going to want to have to apply a lipstick 15 times throughout the night. So liquid lipsticks and lip stains are always a great option. And then I just took a brush to blend everything out and the look is complete. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. That's in this video. So if you guys would like to see what I use and how I got this look, please keep on watching and I'll talk to you soon. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye.